Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Subnautica. We are in the midst of setting up our base. Are we in the middle? I think you don't say in the midst unless you're actually like in the middle of like an area. Like it's a locational thing, but I could be wrong. Anyway, random things. We need more lead, we need more titanium. Um, we always have been going, we've cleared out, <laughs> I'm not sure if we've cleared it, but we've spent an awful lot of time looking for leads between our main base and uh, the original pod. I just kind of want to just go this way for a little bit, and maybe we'll come to an area that's a bit richer in uh, the things we need. It would, uh, we don't want to go too far. Like, I don't think, like, that uh, the mushroom place would have the things we need. I'm just looking for a part of this kelp area that isn't, that's not so uh, picked over already. Oh, oh, that's a mistake. Uh, does this end? Or it looks like it's turning into a, ooh. Ooh, well, okay. Well, let's take a look at this. Locked door. There's a cave behind it. Which might have good things. Okay, that's just rude, man. Being rude. How do I get to where the door comes out? Up here. No? Stop it. Huh. I'm not seeing a way in. Uh, let's, let's get water, uh, air. Maybe it's from in here? From this side? No. There you go. It just opens up. Right in. Do I know what that is? Grab trap. We already have one of those. But whenever we grab stuff, damaged wiring. Okay. We already have a compass. That's not a big deal. Anything in there? No. Beacon. Yeah, we already have the technology from this area, so it's not going to be a particular help. Uh, repair tool right there. But there could be things in the locked doors. Yeah. Ah, there's stuff here. Oh, can we open that? No, we can't. It's just a mobile vehicle thing. Nah, this was nothing. I saw something. Stasis rifle. That's good. We didn't have that one yet. Maybe we did. Never mind. Where's my... Oh, there it is. How much... We still have a lot of space. Okay. I want to... Anything in there? Another mobile vehicle. I don't care. It's a good source of titanium. It's a good... Good, uh reason to look for these things. Stop it! Ah, this just goes down, down. Uh. Quartz. We're not, remember, we're looking for lead. So, good. Good deal. Hmm. 
Silver is always welcome. <laughs> That's, that was a little shocking. Nice lead. That limestone, that's just limestone. One more, and then we go up. Gold. Never mind, there's one more there, and then we go up. Lead, nice. 30 seconds. Uh, wait a minute, can we find our sea moth instead? That might be better. Yeah. How much lead did we just get there? Three. That'll complete two more platforms. Um, the, the the remaining two platforms, but we're still still a ways. Interesting. I think I can see my main base over there. Yeah, that's my main base. That's like the inside building. <laughs> A bit of a what they call hidden surface elimination problem, looks like. Uh, we, we should get some fish. Stop that. I said, stop it, stop it. We have no space, do we? Uh, drop a titanium. And we don't need the gold at the moment. Uh, a Reginald. Reginald, there is so much food. And... Another Reginald. Sure. Go. Keep going right by it. Where are ya? That's a little unrealistic. <laughs> Maybe it'll... F okay, it looks like the rest of my base is faded. Only the parts that weren't completely built are out. So maybe once, once we finish constructing them, they'll be fine. Okay, I don't know, I don't really know what a good range of whole values are. Probably more than I have, though. So, let's lay out a couple more foundations. Which means we'll need more lead. Calorie intake recommended. those Reginalds up. Vital signs stabilizing. That's cool. I like it. Uh, so we have this is actually just kind of hanging off. Okay, so once you... I see. So it, it, it does look kind of goofy until you... Um, once you build the room, it the legs actually go all the way down to the, to the surface. And that shark is just spazzing out. 
So let's see, what other things do I want? I want to build... Um, a moon pool. I let's try building that from the outside. <laughs> I could build a scanner room. But again, maybe that needs to be outside. A vertical base connector doesn't seem to be it. Reinforcement would be probably be good. Yeah, I could build a ladder right here, and that would let me build another multi-purpose room right above here. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Maybe I should build another multi-purpose room going straight up, instead of off to the right. We need to be outside to do these. Okay, so we were doing make another multi-purpose room. Right on top. And we were going to make a moon pool. It needs to... Apparently there's not many good places to put it. Okay, okay, I just, I can't get too close. Let's, um, deconstruct this. See if we can put something there. So, a moon pool. No, still it's too close. Like that? Maybe that's close enough? To connect? We'll try it. Okay, I don't actually have anything to build there, but I could build a component out of there. Ah, I'm kind of... How do I build a moon pool so I'll connect to this room? Maybe, maybe I'll lay the, the corridor first. Yeah. We'll lay a corridor. 30 seconds. My computer's beeping at me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Stop that. Alright, now moon pool. That might be connected. I, could, I think that might be connected. It's, it shows space, but I think the space might go away. So let's get some ingots, lubricant, and lead. And lead. <laughs> what is this? Just some random limestone. Okay, let's go get more supplies. How much room did I leave? I left a lot of copper. Let's, um... Let's put some of that away. So... Uh... Trying to think of... Not enough room. I could put their chemical names, but I, I wouldn't remember it. It would be what? Uh, CU and AG? No, I'd never remember that. Uh, copper.
Otherwise, I, I don't want to waste. So, copper and silver. Yeah, it, it, okay, it has them right there. See you in AG. <laughs> I guess I could put that. It's easier for me to remember that. Copper, cop silver. What should I put in here? Titanium and quartz. Titanite and quartz. No, I should just keep those out. I can use them. No. Apparently I can now build a stasis rifle. I don't, but I already have a stasis rifle. I just didn't have the recipe before. It's flying fish in here. Okay, that's how we're gonna build. That's where. That's the way we're gonna get to our moon pool. We have to build other things in here, like uh, a bioreactor. Do we need to? Really? Not really. We do need to build a ladder, though, to build something up there. Uh, into the middle? Sure, right into the middle. And maybe we'll build, like, a, a I don't know, a scouting room or whatever it is, an observatory. But like, where is the the plots, the indoor grow beds? They need titanium because we're gonna need we're gonna need to be growing stuff. Um, so this will be where we put the grow beds right here. Uh, they don't quite fit. We could put them right like this. Uh, I think I'd rather have them straight, but just fewer. Okay. So we need more stuff. In particular, we need more titanium, more, uh, Quartz and more lead. And there was a bit, there's a room in here we never actually went into. Let's go and deal with that. Is that a scannable? No, it's just metal. But that's what we need, so no complaints. Right. Uh. so long. I can't help but feel that they made this take longer than it needed to, just so they could show their nice little animation. <laughs> it's a good animation, I admit. So, supply crate. And nothing here. A data box with a lightweight, high-capacity tank. I think that's new. Yeah. New blueprint acquired. And there's... Then we can scan. Oh, 
or water. They really wanted to make sure I had a mobile vehicle bay by this point. <laughs> you only need to find two, and it gives you the thing. Okay, let's go. Where are my references? That's the base. Where's the other base? Way over there. Okay. We are in the other direction that I usually go. Usually I, I said I go north. But that's cool. Then maybe we can look around here for some lead. Doesn't it seems like this is more of a shallows area than the uh the, the, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of kelp stuff here. Uh, I need to get out and walk around. Gold. Useless. Silver. That's what... How am I inventory full? I guess just all the metal salvage. There was some lead in here. But I screwed up. So never mind. Oh, I feel annoyed that I missed that lead. Somewhere around here. There, is that it? No, that's gold. There it is. More lead. Nice. What's this? Another mobile vehicle? Another message? 30 seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello, oh, oh dear. I thought we were good there, but I guess not. Let's head. We didn't even get the titanium ingots. Maybe we should go to this base first. You know, we're going to need lubricant. water? Yeah, we have water. Good. I'm, I'm trying to stick to making the base, and then we'll come back and do stuff. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. 
approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Seems like that happens more often than not these days. Okay, ingot. I thought we had lots of ingots. Maybe not. Okay. I did think we had lots of ingots. But I guess not. I guess we must have put them into our, uh, into building our Seamoth. Wrong way. I think I just maybe smashed my own. Uh, <laughs> I think I smashed the the box with all those ion things inside. That's probably not important. Mine now. <laughs> That's an unfortunately placed one of those. It seems like it's always freaking out because of us. Okay, did that connect? Down to 3.3. .3. Oh my, we need to fix that. Um. This thing's gonna get smashed. Whoa! After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Great. Is there nothing else? Is there like not like a a terminal? A thing I can build here? I guess not. No? Okay. Needs titanium. Do I need any of these things? I don't think so. Uh, I should put make some bulkheads. But titanium and silicone rubber. Everything needs titanium.
Hey, some random lead on the ground. That's convenient. Must have dropped it sometime. <laughs> That's a creature egg, right? Yeah. Is that a random bit of quartz? Nice. You know, there aren't water fish around anywhere. Which is a problem. Uh, let's get in our boat. Our sea moth. 30 seconds. You know, in hindsight, we're going to be, whenever this comes out, we're going to be facing a, a, those. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd turned it around, so I was looking back towards, uh, towards the open area, but oh well. Yeah, there's lots of quartz around here, just random quartz in the ground. Still need to go down there at some point. That could be a lead. Hey, nice. How much space do I have? I have enough room for two of those. Was, that was a hefty fish. <laughs> okay, we got two grow beds. We don't have anything to plant in them. But that's that's uh that can be solved. Okay, bulkheads. And they just go in they're like here. There's multiple. Can I just leave it open? I kind of... <laughs> I, I understand the appeal, I just don't particularly need bulkheads at the moment. Need, need titanium. So this is rubber coral. I 
keep coming out here when I mean to, uh... Up to 8.3. Okay, we're getting some good... Good, um... Some much better quality, much more... I'm feeling much more confident about how, how, how this is going to, you know, not get killed immediately. What is this? Huh. Okay, there were some outside things we wanted to make, too. There was the scanner room. Can this go right, like, on top? It can. Okay, but that needs a lot of things. Titanium, gold. Actually, we have everything we need except for the titanium. And maybe the gold. And that looks really weird without another foundation next to it. Okay. So, it's not perfect. We've got lots of, lots more things we need to do to get this fixed up, but I'm definitely feeling happier about this. I think I'm going to take a quick break from uh, dealing with that. And let's go back to the island. Uh, I probably should have beaconed it. Uh, I know where. I, we have a, a location of it. We have... It was the rendezvous, right? Aurora Rendezvous Point, try that. Over there. Actually, this is the wrong one. This one didn't have the trees I liked. But maybe we maybe it'll be fine. If needs be, we can just take the portal across. Maybe it did. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Like how the eye this this kind of appears. <laughs> I call it the island, but really it's just a particularly big floating rock. Let's not beach our sea moth. That'd be bad. Okay, is that it? That's the type of tree. That is it. A Bulbo tree. That was the tree that I thought was the best. Of all the different things I could make happen. I did that wrong. I clicked instead of... Yeah. Uh... Two. And flashlight. Habitat. Okay, so we got some samples of that. Do you want to have samples of something else? Maybe like, it'd be good to have a balanced diet. Uh, there was like a garden area somewhere. Let's see, if that's there, that's there. That was the same one. I looked at that, I looked at that twice. <laughs> There's the cave, which we had so much trouble finding. There it is. Here's the little garden area. We could make melons, but... Ah! Okay. Potatoes! Okay, so we got two potato samples and two bulbo sample, or four bulbo samples. There's this little nook here. What's this for? Can't eat those. Okay.
back to base. Everything is closer together than I thought it was. <laughs> For some reason, I had this idea that the island was way, like, 2,000 away. It's only, like, 600. I should really be going down, finding new technology, doing all that sort of thing. Yeah, it looks a lot better once the rooms are constructed. When they're not constructed, it it uh, looks kind of silly. We didn't get any titanium, so we can't fix that. It won't let me through here. Because that's where a door should be. <laughs> okay, we'll plant a tree. I did not mean to do that. I meant to plant. Oh, it's all, it's all animated. Cool. So this will be our tree. Our bulbo area. And this will be our potatoes. The potatoes don't grow as quickly. <laughs> oh well, from from one seedling we can we can expand to the rest in time. And that will that will solve our problems. Okay, well I'm going to take a break there. So thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young. This is Subnautica.